everybody, and welcome to another episode of Joe Rocks Coronado, where we love to paint rocks and we love to uh, talk about painting rocks and, and how we do it. So yesterday I painted this rock right here. Um, it's a pretty big rock, as you can see. It's bigger than my hand. It's a sunflower and then the sun up here with just a nice border around it. I've done a couple of rocks. This is the second rock I've done that's similar to this design, and I'll try to uh, show you some of those other ones in pictures here in a minute but the, if you want to look at the whole series in this um, in this line it is on my Facebook page under the album name of Sun Sky and Flowers okay so when I was coming up with the idea for this series I wanted to have beautiful vibrant colors and I wanted to have uh, at least a nice sky something to do with the Sun and uh, a flower and in most cases in this series I've done sunflowers and the reason I chose those subjects is um, or, or these this partic particular layout for this is that I love uh, sunflowers they're beautiful and in the way I'm looking at them they're kind of almost like imitating the Sun you know with the way the petals kind of imitate the rays of the Sun and the colors it's just so beautiful and so I want to show you how I painted it. Now, it's not, this isn't really an easy one to do, so I'm hoping other people will give this a try. And, um, you know, really, I just, you'll, I'm going to show you a time lapse, so you'll see the whole thing, but it goes by pretty quick. So I'm just going to tell you about it real quick first, uh, not to make this video drag out too long. But I started, if you look on the back, I started with a blue base coat, okay? Um, just a simple kind of a sky bluish base coat. And I put it on really thick because this rock is sandstone and it's very porous. Um, so it, it really is um, better if you could kind of smooth it out a little bit. Now there's not a lot of real fine lines on this. I used a uh, Posca pen uh, paint marker to draw out the, um, the black lines in it. And then I used some puffy paint to give it the texture here and also in the, in the sun and also around the border. So really, there's nothing hard about this. As you can see, it's mostly outlines and, you know, anybody can draw a flower in a sun, right? Um, so it's really just color selection and, um, you know, a little bit of patience and working through, um, you know, the design ahead of time, which is what I did. So I don't want to waste too much time talking about it, but I'm going to show you the time lapse. It lasts about 37 seconds or so, but in actuality, that sped up 20 times um, uh, the video sped up 20 times normal speed so in actuality it took me quite a while to paint this rock and if you add in the time it takes to let paint dry um, after the base coat and all that and then adding the sealer on later it's probably a total of about a two hour project a little bit more if you add in also thinking about the design and all that stuff so uh, without further ado, let's uh, let's jump right into the video. pretty quick right so um, hopefully you could kind of see what I was doing there it again it's there's nothing really hard about it it's just a question of working through with patience and just being careful and making the lines and and I went back over a lot of the lines you know it's just part of the process you have to sometimes make little corrections as you go so hopefully that gives you some sense of, of how I did it and uh, I'm welcome to answer any questions please leave them in the comments or you can you can hit me up on Facebook or Instagram, hashtag Joe Rocks Coronado. Um, really appreciate you tuning in. This rock is kind of special to me because I like to think of it as, you know, kind of an artistic design. I mean, I, I'm trying to do, you know, some kind of art here. Obviously, it's um, it's not necessarily high art, right? But, but uh, um, you can still do beautiful things even with small canvases like this. 
And I think it's important because one of the reasons we as humans respond to art is because it shows us something uh, beautiful about the world. Um, and I think it's good to focus on beautiful things like that because it, I think it gives us fuel um, to help us deal with, it gives us spiritual fuel to help us deal with what's going on in our lives and gives us that ammunition just to get through the day and something to look forward to, some, some way of knowing that there is beauty in the world even when things are dark. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Joe Rock's Coronado. Please tune in, and if you like what you see, subscribe on Facebook there or on YouTube, and it helps uh, it helps YouTube know that people want more of this type of video. So thank you, and I'll talk to you later.